You're watching Good Morning Utah. Staying warm in the winter can be a challenge, and sometimes how you heat your home can be dangerous. So today we're talking with Tim Tincher and Madison Samuels from the Utah Red Cross about how to heat your home safely. Guys, thanks for being with us this morning. Thank you. Thank you. So how is heating our home dangerous sometimes? Um, sometimes we can leave our space heaters on and leave them unattended, and they can catch any flammable material, and your home can go up in smoke. So Is that simple? Yeah. yeah. And that's the main thing that space heaters are an issue, about where they're placing them, yeah. how long they're leaving them on, and that again turns into a situation where you have a house fire. Correct. Yeah. Okay, now how often is the Red Cross seeing things like that? Yeah, I mean there's like cases about like 70,000 per year of these home fires and during the winter months when people use these items like a space heater, these cases actually increase. So you will respond to about two to three locally as well. Yeah. Really? It's that yeah. often? Yeah. Yeah. So Serious problem. Obviously an yeah. issue we want to avoid <laughs> yeah. here. What's the right way to heat your home? Obviously, if a space heater and it is causing yeah. this frequent of issues, what do we do to do it the right way? So we just always say, like, you leave them on a non-flammable level surface, and then plug them, uh, turn them off, unplug them when you leave, just and when you go to sleep, just to make sure that they're off and they're not going to catch anything on fire while you're sleeping or while you're away. So that's what yeah. we always just say, a level, non-flammable surface. Okay. Yeah, you want to keep them like a good three feet proximity of um, items away from them as well, just so you're not catching stuff close to the space. And that's probably the biggest issue yeah. with that, is that you're leaving them in a bedroom, and maybe you have curtains yeah. in the bedroom, yeah. and you're leaving it close to the bed, and maybe the, the blankets from the bed are close by. So some of those things, maybe you have clothes on the floor. I don't yeah. know yeah. the situation. But <laughs> But obviously it is becoming an issue. So if you have a space heater, let's say you don't have one and you have some other ideas that you should probably be thinking of as well in addition to that. Any other common sense reminders that are good for people? Yes, so we actually get like cases of people like trying to heat their home with their oven. So don't do that. Yeah. If you don't have a space heater, I wouldn't use an oven to heat your home. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's sometimes people get into some dire situations yeah. or when the power goes out, totally. things like that. Yeah. Anything else? Yeah, I think um, it's really important just to make sure, you know, you're keeping those things, you're not leaving them unattended. You know, you're being mindful and making sure, like, we're not going to leave the Like a candle house. or something yeah. like that, or a fireplace yeah. Yeah. or a stove something you want to be something cautious like about, okay. for sure. Right. Yeah. So if people want to get more tips online, how do they find you on the internet? Um, www.redcross.org. Simple yeah. as that. Of course, we'll have a link to that on our website, abc4.com slash gmu. There's also the Red Cross app. You can find that online there as well. Talking this morning with Tim. And, of course, let me remind you your name. Madison Samuels. Thanks for being with us this yes, morning, Yes, of course. Guys. Thank you. Yeah, thank you.